guys, basically I'm back here, and finally we're back with another review. It's been a while since I've done this, uh, and as you saw from the title thumbnail, I got the Liberty Chica plush and action figure. That's why this box is big. Uh, yeah, it's very big. Uh, and let me just say real quick before I unbox this, uh, the, the basically on movie, it is, it's coming, it is coming out, um, the 30th still, um, I just have a few things to take care of, like I said in one of my computer posts. Uh, it's, it's like, this is this movie has taken taken a while, and it really shouldn't have, because it's not even that long. It's not, like, longer than what I want last night. But, honestly, I don't care. Uh, but it has, it, it, I do think it is better than anything. But anyways, I'm not gonna just ramble on. I'm just gonna open this and just, you know, do my thing. Okay, I kind of have to redo the shot because I accidentally showed some of my private information and I don't want you guys coming to my house, so I'm just dumping out like that and, okay, yep, here, here they are. Now, before I get into in, into these two, I do want to say, I feel like the Liberty Chica merch that we, that we have right now, I'm pretty sure it's like, in my, this is my opinion, by the way, uh, let me, all the things I say, they're just my opinion, uh, but I feel like the, the Liberty Chica merch has been like something like good recently out of FNAF stuff because one we got a good looking Chica and a good looking Chica action figure which we have not gotten in a while except for High Score Toy Chica and recently I, I, I guess this the spring not the spring color wait the tie-dye plushies with the tie-dye Chica you get the point but anyways like always I'm just gonna start off with the plush because that, that's what you're all here for Okay, now I want to say, uh, this is a very, a very interesting plush, because, one, uh, it obviously doesn't have legs, and it has, like, little beads on the inside of the bottom, uh, so it stands, but it doesn't stand that, stand that well, either because, uh, the head's too large, or my bed, yeah, uh, also, also, I don't know, it's probably not just mine, but my crown is, like, f like, kind of folding forward or whatever, uh, and two, uh, this is the first ever FNAF plush to be given props. Like, they're just stuck on them. Uh, and, and, it, and if you've seen, like, my Darko, uh, like, Darko makeshift plush reviews, I kind of take the props off. Uh, which, I mean, I know some people might be pissed off about, but I really don't care. Uh, but I'm keeping these on, because obviously it would just be boring if it wasn't. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna get into everything. So, from... From okay, so from first viewing this, I really actually like the way this looks. Like I like the face. The face it has the toy chica beak, and uh, the eyes are crocheted in. Uh, but honestly, I like it. Looks cute. That's the one thing that FNAF plushies have recently kind of failed on, like the cuteness, because plushies are supposed to be cute, squishy, and you know soft. Uh, I feel like the face does 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 that to, does justice to that. Honestly, uh. The crown is like just one, just like one piece of felt with printing on, and also, also let me just say like this, there's also this like kind of material that's used for like the, like basically all the other FNAF AR plushies, uh, like it's like the, it's a, it's the Phantom Foxy material, uh, which is also used on uh, the cupcake right here, and I don't, it's not you, okay, it's only used on the crown and the cupcake. Speaking of which, the cupcake is literally just. A flat piece of felt again with the Phantom, with the Phantom Foxy material, and the cupcake it looks fine honestly. I mean, I, I mean I'm gonna be honest. The cupcake does kind of look a little little bit garbage, but like um, I, I do I do appreciate them for actually putting a cupcake because that's something we don't see at all come from Funko rarely. Uh, the whole cape thing right here, whatever it's called, I don't know. I'm not gonna search it up because I don't want to. But, uh, this is all printed on, uh, from front to back. Uh, uh, and also, there's printing, printing problem here, so, yeah. Great job, Funko, you funked it up. Uh, also, here is the tag, which it says it's a Walmart exclusive, but I ordered this off of the Funko website. It, this was a, okay, let me, okay, interesting backstory about this one. Uh, and also the Liberty Chica action figure. Apparently, these were originally going to be Amazon exclusives, but then they got switched over to Walmart, and then I've been hearing that they're not even exclusives anymore. But this says Walmart exclusive, so I don't even know. I didn't even order this off a of Walmart website, so I don't know what's going on. But, yeah. Uh, I do like the detail on the tag, though. You can see buildings and fireworks over there. Uh, and, yeah, the, like, the cool tag. I will try to keep it. 
uh, and obviously like the little uh, book I guess uh, here um, it's just just flat uh, and the words are just printed on even even though it's like printed on and just just one piece I do think it looks good um, I have been seeing people like not really liking the way this looks uh, which I mean I kind of can see where they're coming from but then again I really don't care honestly the plush is soft it's squishy and I just love the face it's but honestly, I will say I do really, really like the plush, and also I have not gotten frost. Like why I was, I was about to say frost bear. I have not gotten Shamrock Freddy or Livewire Freddy yet, because for whatever reason those are taking a while to come. Like I ordered them off Walmart, which, and I I know now never to order from from the Walmart website because they'll delay your delay your delay your ship, and you're you're just gonna not get it. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Anyways, I do like really like the plush. Uh, the head kind of chunky, uh, and I just realized I might be able to squish it, but I don't know. Anyways, I really like this plush, honestly, uh, and I will make videos with it uh, soon, uh, once July comes around. Uh, but speaking of July, on to the action figure. So, already looking at this from the box, I actually really like it, because, one, the detail, everything looks really good. The props, once again, are looking amazing. Uh, although, uh, there was something in the pack, something wrong with the package in this, uh, where it kind of got bent, so, so it's not in perfect condition, that means it's worthless. Uh, but here's the back where it just shows the one action figure, because it's not really a part of the main lineup, but who knows, or who cares. Uh, so, I hate to, I hate to destroy this, but honestly, it's already des destroyed right here, so there's no point. So, yeah, I'm not even gonna try to keep this. So, eat. Okay, <clears throat> so, I got it out of the packaging, except I destroyed it which i mean it was already destroyed kind of to begin with but anyways i'm gonna get this out uh, so yeah. <clears throat> all right so got the figure out of the back chain now i'm gonna just preview it so uh i already like all the detail that's put into this figure uh they got basically everything almost everything right from uh the act from actual fnfar uh and they got this little stain on the back which i don't even remember if uh, liberty chica has that stain on on the back of her head uh but who knows uh or who cares uh and okay <clears throat> sorry for my stuttering or whatever uh so the every once again the cape thing i don't know what it's called i don't care shut up um the detail the detail on this figure looks really good i will say also the bottom kind of you know it does have legs and it's just like you know the trademark things or whatever uh and this actually makes it easier for it just to stand since the bottom is like completely flat except if like you know you, you get the point um and uh here's the crown again uh you can actually and you can see the tufts of tufts of hair uh that she, she usually has uh something this might be just um something to do with my figure uh but i really don't know uh but the eyes are facing face facing uh her left her left her left uh like she's facing left her eyes are looking left which i don't understand uh but it's probably it might be just paint like you know just an error in in the paint which i mean i guess it's fine but it kind of looks a little a little funky i must say also uh, I don't know if this has been with any other Chica action figure, but it probably hasn't, but the inside of the beak is actually hollow, uh, and also, let me just say, like, and also, the beak is kind of like a rubber type of material, uh, the head kind of feels like it too, but also, I don't think it is, I think it's just the same material, but the beak, like, it, it's different, and you can kind of open it just a tiny bit, uh, but if my camera can focus, you, you can't, okay, you can't really see in there anyways, um, I feel like, and, uh, when, okay, when this figure first got leaked, and holy crap, my thing's out of focus, uh, when this figure got leaked, uh, the joints kind of look garbage, I feel like they could have just painted these, like, as, as the exact same, exact same color, um, but honestly, I, that's just what I think, like, cause, honestly, okay, from afar, it doesn't look too bad, honestly, but, but when you're up close and just looking at everything, uh, the joints, like, they very, they stick out very much, uh, which I feel like they could have they could have done something with that um, So yeah, but let me talk about the props which I mean, let me just say this is probably like one of the best FNAF figures to be given props 
let me start out with the cupcake. So, let me focus. So, first of all, the cupcake is actually inside this translucent fire fire sculpt, which I don't even know how they were, to, they were able to even do this. Because this actually looks really cool. Uh, and the cupcake's even detailed on the inside with, like, the shading and or whatever it is. Uh... I honestly really like this cupcake a lot. I really do. Uh, and uh, there's not much to say about the cupcake. And oh my god, my camera's so out of focus. Uh, and here, obviously, is the book again. Uh, you know, July July 4th and whatever that says. <laughs> uh, now, the book, it, it's very, um, like, I don't, I don't know what the proper term is or whatever, but it's like, like I like the shape. I don't know. I don't know why, but like you know, just feels feels nice to touch. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually gonna try to get the props in position with her properly. Uh, but the cupcake probably won't work because for obvious reasons. Okay, I was able to get the props in her hands. Uh, she can't really ho hold the book properly because the the joints are kind of stiff on this figure. They weren't with like any of the re really any of the other FNAF AR figures, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Except it kind of does, because this is Chica. <laughs> She's not even holding the book properly. Uh, and also, Chica's also can't hold the cupcakes properly, just because the hand is, like, curved and doesn't sit, like, flat. Uh, which is something I didn't even realize until Froki was reviewing uh, action figures recently, which he has now up uploaded in a few months. Uh, don't know what, what it is, but yeah. Uh, but okay but yeah the figure looks great i will say obviously the figures are probably going to be the best out of everything uh because obviously the plushies are downsized well figures are like they make they probably make everything like 10 times better except for the security bridge ones we don't talk about those uh but yeah that's all i really have to say anyways guys thank you so much for watching this and, um, I, I am going to try to get the Shamrock Freddy and the uh, Lifewire Freddy plushies. They're just taking a while to come. And I, and I've been checking Walmart recently to see if they restock. Uh, because I've heard that they've been restocked in some Walmarts. Uh, but usually my Walmart is usually the last one to get stuff. So, yeah, that's something. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to do more reviews in the future. There just hasn't been many things for me to review. Uh, so yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and goodbye. Basically, I'm a movie coming out soon. Yeah.